Good morning, you guys. So today is motherfucking Valentine's Day. It's February 14th, 2024. And this morning, we woke up. I was like, you know what? We gotta go do something special. It's a special day. So Christian is here with us. We just went and got our morning coffees. We've been going to our local coffee shop uh, recently. It's called Crater City Coffee. And oh, it's so good. Wait, like, I literally have quit going to Starbucks. Not for any like specific reason either. It's like literally, I would go and they would fuck up my drink so often. And then I would always go there and get a fucked up drink and then go to this coffee shop and get one that I like. So after a while, it's like, you know what? I'm done going there. So we're gonna go to Cincinnati today. Cincinnati's about a three hours drive and it's so worth the drive. I was thinking this morning, like of going to like so many different places. Like I was literally looking at like Disneyland tickets. I was looking at fucking New Orleans shit. And, Cause I do want to go to New Orleans soon, um, but I don't know. And I settled on Cincinnati because it's like, such a short drive like three hours is way better than like 10 hours to like disney or something and i'm just not really in the mood for like a long road trip so so we just got to cincinnati and we're at this place called kenwood mall I go here every time I'm in town because this is like one of the best fucking malls. I always find something good and I'm just, I don't really need anything. I just kind of want to go in here and look around. Okay guys, so I just left the mall. As you guys know earlier, I said I didn't need anything when I went in there, but I did buy some shit. So I got a new pair of shoes and socks and some shirts at Abercrombie. Let me show you, first of all, what I got at Abercrombie & Fitch. Up until like a year or two ago, I thought Abercrombie & Fitch was like on the borderline of like bankruptcy because I hadn't like had the, I hadn't, I haven't went to like go in that store since like 2014. And I feel like since middle school, I kind of just stopped wearing it. And I kind of feel like it died off for like everyone. But then like a year or two ago, they did like this revival and they have such good shit now. Like they really like, switched the store's vibe and they have like good trendy clothes now um and it's like all really good quality so that's like why i go there i get all of my jeans there now and i get i've gotten like three or four shirts or sweaters from them like recently too but when i walked in this was the first thing that i saw bro look at this fuck look at this nirvana unplugged shirt it's so good it's such good quality i know like the nirvana t-shirt thing is like a played out like you can go to walmart and get a fucking nirvana smiley face t-shirt now but it's like this one's cool because it has like this, it's cropped and it has like this old like wash to it and it's super, super soft and it's like a heavy shirt. Like it feels like really good quality and expensive, even though it is just a Nirvana team. And I love the graphic of Kurt on the front. It's super badass. And then the back says Nirvana too. And it has like the unplugged set list. I've seen this show. I've sat and watched this show over dinner before. Like I've seen this show and performance so many times. It's one of my favorites. I really like um, Where Did You Sleep Last Night? from that performance he did it really good and then i got this button up this looks very basic it looks like a fucking pajama tee or like a pajama set <laughs> but i tried it on and this is also like a cropped fit and it fits me really good and i feel like this would be good for like summer if i go to like the beach or something it'd be nice to wear with like some shorts very summery and i don't know i like it and then at the van store i got a new pair of shoes i've been really needing a new pair of vans because they're like my everyday, just beat the fuck out of them and throw them away in five months shoe or like a year. So I got these. They are the skateboarding edition fucking shoes. I don't know, it has like the checkered inside. These are the ones I get because they're more clunkier and like thicker than like the normal ones. And I like how they're clunkier and thicker and they just like feel heavier. But it's also like, these make my feet look small. You guys are never gonna believe where I'm at. I honestly feel at home when I'm here. You guys, we're at Ikea, and I think we're gonna grab lunch here, or like early dinner, and get some of these fucking meatballs. Oh my God, look how good that looks. We have secured the meatballs that comes with jelly and gravy, and I always get mac and cheese instead of peas. But bro, look how good this is. This is the cake that I get every time. And I also always get the sparkly pear water. And it's really good. 
It's so good actually, like holy shit. Christian got chicken tenders. I eat the meatballs all the time. I wanted to switch it up. He wanted to switch it up. This is a cool chair. I'm about to send you the, uh, it's like corduroy. We are thinking about buying one of these. Look at them, look how they sit. It's just a big fat bear. I think we need to take this home with us. This is his first time in the big world, the outside world. It's very scary for him, so I'm just comforting him. You guys, what should we name him? We can all name him. Leave some names below. He's gonna be taking station at our couch at home and I can't wait to get him there. He's very excited. Are you excited to come home with us? We'll just strap you in. I know, it's annoying. If you want to hit the blunt, just let me know. All right guys, we are going to the record store and I can't wait, because I'm gonna get some vinyls. I called this place before we came here. Um, and they have like Lana vinyls and shit, and it looks pretty cool. I'm excited to go in here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, you guys, so I just left the record store, and I am so fucking pumped. I'm about to, um, I'm about to show you guys what the fuck I got. Look at this shit. So I got two Lana vinyls. This one I have been wanting so bad. I've been planning to order this one online because every time I go to the rec a, a record store, I look for this one. And for the Ocean Boulevard album, she released like three or four different color like coverways for like all of her vinyls. But this was the one I wanted because she had this pink shirt on and I just liked the way it looked. And I kept like turning these like I, I've been, I've had the opportunity to buy this vinyl like so many times because the standard edition is like everywhere, but I kept turning it down in hopes of finding this one. And I fucking found it. When I saw this in there, my, my mouth dropped. And I called them before to see if they had it. And they said that they did, but I assumed it was like the one that I didn't want. So I was like, yeah, whatever. But then I saw it and I was like, bitch, it's mine. So I'm gonna open this up with you guys. I think this one has like a green, like disc i'm not sure let's see oh my god they are look look it's so good it's so good worth every penny and then i got this one this is aka lizzie grant this was from like 2009 before like she was officially lana del rey like there was a whole thing that went out, went on with this album so yeah that's my purchases at the vinyl store <laughs> i'm just so pumped about these like i know most of y'all probably don't give a fuck but All right, you guys, so it is the next day. Um, yesterday, I don't know the last thing I recorded. After we left Ikea, we uh, pretty much drove home. We got back at like 11, and then when we got back, um, we played like a game or two of Fortnite. I went to sleep at midnight, but I made the terrible decision last night of drinking alcohol. So like when we got back, it was really late. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have like a drink or two while I play some video games to unwind and go to sleep. Um, and I hadn't like, I didn't really drink much water yesterday. And usually I drink like six, seven bottles of water a day. Like I drink a lot of water and I just had like two yesterday. And then I had those two alcoholic drinks before I went to sleep. So this morning I woke up with like a busting headache and I felt like such a little bitch because I had only had two drinks last night. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? But anyway, so this morning it's like one o'clock now. But I spent most of the day recovering from my two drinks last night, and I took some medicine, had some breakfast, did some chores, and uh, today's gonna be fucking fun, you guys. So when I woke up this morning, um, I forgot out of the shower and stuff, I was looking, and I've been wanting to go to this place in Kentucky. It's about two and a half hours away from where we live, and it's a fucking castle. And my dad actually told me about this place a few weeks ago, because him and his wife went, and he was like, yo, you should go for like a video or something, it's really nice. And I never would have thought there was a, there'd be a fucking castle in Kentucky. But not only is it like a castle, but it's like a fine dining castle. So they have like really fancy food. They have like in-ground pools. You can like stay the night there if you want to in like the rooms. And I think people get like married there and shit. I don't know, but it's in Lexington, Kentucky. And uh, we actually just drove through Lexington last night when we left Cincinnati. 
get to drive through Lexington. <clears throat> but anyways, we're going back today, bitch. Because when I looked at like the reservation, I've been wanting to go to this for like a few weeks now, but they were always booked out. But today, I guess someone like canceled and there was one available for five o'clock. So I fucking snagged that shit. And um, I honestly didn't even feel like going anywhere today when I woke up this morning. But when I saw that availability, I had to fucking book it. So I, that's why I'm dressed nice. I got a nice little cardigan on, a nice button up, some jeans. Or no, these are slacks. And I got my new bands on, which are so, so nice, so comfy. I love wearing like dress clothes and like dress slacks and then putting like vans on, like especially if they're like fresh and crispy, it looks really good, I think. So it's a little bit later, we're on the road now. We're like probably an hour and 30 minutes from that little cat. Like not a little bitch, it's a big ass castle. I can't wait to see it. Anyways, we stopped and got Duncan for like a fucking quick pick me up because I feel like I could use some coffee and some food in me. And we have a lot of driving left, so. This is pretty good. This is a chocolate hazelnut mocha. Mocha, mocha hazelnut coffee? I don't know. I like it. But I really wanted to come here for this. I didn't talk about this yesterday, but bro, I got this wrap at Dunkin' yesterday and it was so good. There's like queso cheese and chicken and like peppers and eggs in here and it's fucking phenomenal. Next time you go to Dunkin', get a fucking chicken wrap. I think that's what it was called. I don't know. It's like hot and grilled. That's so good. It's really hot though. You wanna try it? Yeah. I'm gonna roll up a blunt because I really wanna like go in this bitch fried. So I looked at the menu earlier and they have really fancy food like lamb and like wagyu and like just bullshit like that. So I'm definitely pulling up to this place high and you can like explore the castle. So we're gonna like walk around. We dressed a little fancy as you can see. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. It's good, isn't it? How do I get the fuck in this? This is not the turn in. Oh, Shit. Fuck. Oh my god, fuck. so many people. We fucked up. So we're pulling up. Oh my god, we're pulling up in this bitch. This is pretty as fuck. This looks like a goddamn painting. Look at this. So, we are at the castle. We're in front of it right now because we have like five minutes until we can check in, but we kind of like walked around a little. And this place is fucking dope. Like it's really like chandelier vibes inside. You know what I'm saying? Like chandeliers everywhere and like, there's like ballrooms and shit. And like this dude at the desk has like a really fancy mustache. It's crazy. But <laughs> we're about to eat good. You guys, this is like a ballroom or something. This is like fancy as fuck. And no one's in here. Holy shit, you guys, that was fire. I would give that a goddamn 10 out of 10. Same. Like, literally the best lamb I've ever had. And it's so beautiful outside, what the fuck? Okay guys, we're leaving the castle. That was literally delicious. We had lamb pot pies. But when you like bit, I couldn't like record in there because like they seated us right next to the speaker. Like the speaker playing jazz was right next to my feet basically in the floor. <laughs> so um, yeah, the lamb was like, you could like, as soon as I bit into it, it was like really juicy and tender, but it tasted like red wine. And it had like the sweet, like red wine taste to it. And I have always heard about like fancy motherfuckers cooking meat and wine. I'm always like, Puff. like that's probably some bullshit. Like you probably don't even taste it. But those motherfuckers, that probably set in like wine for like 12 hours, like overnight or something. You know what I mean? Like Maybe. you could really taste the wine. Like she was busting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was lit. And honestly, it wasn't that, I mean, it was expensive, but like for the experience, like the, 
the fucking fine dining. That is like farm to table food. Like everything they serve, they like grew in their farm here. And I, and for that, like as well, it's like makes it worth it. It's like really good. Each one of those pot pies was like 42 bucks. And then like the four eggs was like 15, which is, you know, expensive. But at the same time, if you want to have a little treat date night, I mean, you could probably, man, you could definitely spend more at Cheesecake Factory. In fact, I know I have. So um, if you're ever passing through Kentucky and you want to feel like Southern royalty, bitch, stop by here because you both feel that way. 